I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on first order linear differential equations. We'll take up three examples here. Let it be level one to begin with. We need to solve the differential equations a dy dx plus 2y equals to 2 e to the power of x 2x y dash plus y equals to 6x cube and x y dash equals to y plus x square sine x where we are given the initial condition y pi equals to 0. So let us see how to solve these equations. In our introduction we learn that the first order linear differential equations could be written as dy dx plus function of x times y equals to another function of x. Now that could be a constant also. Now to solve what is the first step? The first step is to get the integration factor and that is the first step is we, we have to find the integration factor which is equal to e to the power of integration of p of x dx right once we get that factor in that case we have to multiply the whole equation by this it gives you a form which can be easily solved so that gives you the integration factor i of x times y equals 2 integral of integration factor i x times q of x dx plus c right now from here you could solve for y okay so we'll actually uh, start from this equation and end up solving for y after doing y equals to 1 over i of x integral of i of x times q of x dx plus c right? so these are the steps involved so let's take up the very first example and go through these steps one by one let us solve the differential equation y dash plus 2y equals to 2 e to the power of x now if you compare it with the form y dash plus p of x times y equals to q of x you know p of x is equal to 2 and q of x is equal to 2 times e to the power of x now first step here is to find the integrating factor which is e let's write this as e y equals to e to the power of integral of p of x dx right so that is the first step so let's find the integrating factor now so i you can write i x since it is always a function of x right will be e to the power of integral of 2 dx so that gives you e to the power of integral of 2 dx will be 2x right so 2x so e to the power of 2x become our integrating factor now when, since we know the integrating factor which is e to the power of 2x we can write that e to the power of let me write down here the step which i am doing so that's very clear what are we doing now so the integrating factor times y should be equal to the integral of the integrating factor times q of x d of x plus c right so now the integrating factor for us is e to the power of 2 of x so let me now write e to the power of x times y equals to integral of integrating factor times q of x dx plus c so in our case it is e to the power of 2x times y equals to integral of e to the power of 2x times 2 times e to the power of x dx plus c 
Now we can simplify this and this could be written as e to the power of 2 e to the power of 2x plus x is 3x, right? 2 times e to the power of 3x dx plus c. So that gives you e to the power of 2x times y equals 2. The integration of this, which is 2 times e to the power of 3x divided by 3, and then we have plus c here. So now we can get what y is. So y is equals to 1 over e to the power of 2x times 2 over 3 e to the power of 3x plus c. We open the bracket and then you can write this as 2 over 3 e to the power of 3x over e to the power of 2x plus c over e to the power of 2x. Correct? So that gives you 2 over 3 e to the power of x plus c times e to the power of minus 2x. Right? So that is the value of y. So that is how you can get the solution. Is that clear? So the idea is to identify p of x and q of x, then find the integration factor e to the power of integral of p of x d of x and then once you get that factor and then you have to multiply that factor by y that should be equal to integral of integration factor times qx dx plus c solve for y to get the answer so these are the steps which we need to follow to solve first order linear differential equations right so let's take up the other two examples now solve the differential equation 2x y dash plus y equals to 6x cubed. So let's rewrite this in the proper order, right? So we could write this as y prime plus 1 over 2x y equals to 6x cubed over 2x, right? Dividing all these terms by 2x. So that gives us y prime plus 1 over 2x y equals to 3x square. Now from here, we know what is p of x equals to. So p of x is equals to 1 over 2x, correct? And q of x is equal to 3x square. So let's first find the integration factor, which is i of x, which is equals to e to the power of integral of p of x, which is 1 over 2x dx, correct? So that gives you the value as this is half of ln, right? So we can say e to the power of half of ln x, right? So that is equal to x square root, right? So square root of x. So that is your integration factor, which is square root of x. Now, we get our equation to solve, which is the integration factor times y should be equal to the integral of integration factor times q of x dx plus c, right? So in our case, we have square root of x times y equals to integral of square root of x, that is x to the power of half, times q of x, which is 3x squared dx plus c. So let's simplify this portion, right? So we have um, x to the power of half, 3 outside, let's take 3 outside, times x to the power of 2 times d of x plus c. That gives you 3 times x to the power of 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5 over 2 dx plus c, right? So this is square root of x times y. So square root of x times y is equal to, we get 3 times x to the power of plus 1, which is 7 over 2, divided by 7 over 2, plus c. Now, uh, this gives us 6 over 7 here, right? So we get uh, 6 over 7, x to the power of 7 over 2, plus c. So y is equal to, 
uh, we'll divide both by square root of x right so we get 6 over 7 times x to the power of 7 over 2 times x to the power of minus half dividing by this plus c times x to the power of minus half correct so when you simplify this when you add these two so we get uh, 6 over 2 which is 3 so we get 6 over 7 x cubed plus c x to the power of minus half right so that is equal to y correct so that becomes the solution of our second equation is that clear so at this stage we divide it by square root x right and got our result so we get y equals to all this and when you take away minus half from 7 over 2 you get 6 over 2 which is 3 correct so that's how you could do it now let's take the last example solve the differential equation x y prime equals to y plus x square sin x we are given y pi is equal to 0 now I think you know these steps exactly so I like you to pause the video solve and then check with my solution correct so we have the equation here x y prime equals to y plus x square sin x right so let's divide by x so we get y prime equals to y over x plus x sin x now we have to write it in our form which is y prime minus 1 over x times y equals to x sin x is that clear right now from this equation you know what p of x is and what q of x is right so so now we know that p of x is equal to minus 1 over x and q of x is equals to x sin x so let's find the integration factor now so integration factor i of x will be e to the power of integral of minus 1 over x dx okay so that gives you equal to e to the power of minus ln x right or you could write this as x to the power of minus 1 or 1 over x so we know the integration factor is 1 over x right so now we could write integration factor times y should be equal to integral of q of x dx plus c the integration factor is 1 over x so we'll write 1 over x times y equals to integral of 1 over x times x sin x that is the value of qx right qx is x sin x dx plus c so so that gives you 1 over x y equals to integral of x and x cancel we are left with sin x dx plus c so the integral is we can write we'll write it on the right hand side right so it is minus cos x plus c or we could finally write down y as equals to minus x cos x plus cx right so that becomes the the integral now to find the value of c we can use the condition which is y pi equals to zero right so we are given that the value of the function at x equals to pi is zero substituting that in our equation which is y equals to minus x cos of x plus c of x we get 0 equals to minus pi cos of pi plus c pi correct now cos pi is negative 1 so we get minus pi times negative 1 uh, plus c pi right so taking it this becomes positive uh, plus c pi right so bringing it here we get minus pi equals to c pi or we get c equals to minus 1 pi divided by pi so c is minus 1 so if c is minus 1 we get our solution which is 
y equals to minus x cos x minus x correct since c is minus 1 so we got the value of c as minus 1 and therefore the solution is this uh, y equals to minus x cos x minus x correct so that is how we are going to solve this differential equation now i hope with these three examples the basic steps to solve uh, linear differential equations is absolutely clear now in the second set we'll take up a few more examples which will have slightly higher level of complication i hope that helps Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.